season's over. It's last week of February. And I'm out here doing a little duck feeding, if you will. I've been spreading corn it's the third time. So I'll probably put three or 400 pounds out by now since the season went out, since the ewe seasons went out. Um, and it is bringing ducks in. You know, as you remember, we're in the bean hole right now. You're sitting in the blind. Um, we shot, what, two ducks, three ducks out of there one day. And uh, that was it. That was all the action we got out of here. Since I put this corn in here, uh, I've been seeing wood ducks every day, a couple of pair of mergansers actually, and at least one pair of mallards. Literally, standing right, well, sitting right where I am right now. And as, as I walked up just now, a few woodies jumped up right over there. Looking at my trail camera, which is sitting right over here to your right. They're, they're in here pretty much all day, every day, just about. Same goes for the big hole. And I think I saw maybe two pairs of mallards in there yesterday. I just jumped about a half a dozen wood ducks out of there. Walked on farther down to the back hole. Jumped about eight or nine wood ducks out of there. So they are coming in and eating this corn. Crossing fingers. Um, I don't know if you can hear that, but there's two mallards just flew by somewhere. I just heard her, heard her quacking it. They may be all the way back here. But, uh, wow, awesome. I don't know if this is gonna hold. Leave me a comment if you tried this. I know, I think Ron mentioned that they tried it and as soon as the corn was gone, the ducks were gone. I, I'm just trying to get the ducks to focus a little bit more on this area. I'm gonna leave water on this till about mid-April. I'm gonna drain it out so it dries up a little bit so I can work on it. I'm gonna cut stumps. Uh, open it up a little bit more and then we'll flood it again and, and put some rice and uh, more rice in here and, and some millet but uh, give me a comment if you guys had any success with getting ducks to imprint to an area by adding corn I know it's not going to be an overnight thing this might be something I need to do for a few years but uh, they're coming here now and like I said we just had two mallards or at least a mallard that I heard right behind me so they're here they're in the area There. Two green heads and two mallards just flew right off me. I hope that came out on the camera. That was awesome. Two green heads and two wood ducks were sitting back there just flew right over me. Man, the hair on the back of my neck is standing up right now. Oh, it's only February. How long do I have to wait to duck hunt some more? All right, sorry for you getting a little excited, but as you guys know, I'm crazy about this stuff. So, well. That's great. I have, this is the third, second or third season in a row I've really focused on hunting. I have never, ever seen mallards back there. Wood ducks last year, but two green heads and uh, two wood ducks. That's very cool. I wonder what those hens are. Man, I would love to think they're nesting around here somewhere. Anyway, I ramble on. Um, I'm going to show you footage, some footage I took when I walked down into the uh, big hole earlier. Gosh of the wood ducks that had jumped up out of there, one of the hens flew right past me. I mean, like, too close to shoot past me. But uh, and I'll walk down there again. We'll check out on the creek, see what's going on. So I got ducks here. I got to get them to stay. Here's a, something I'd love to hear from you guys. Back there is almost full shade. I put a little bit of millet and some rice in there. I put them both out too late. Any recommendation on what I can plant in the shade to bring ducks in there. Maybe if I just do millet, just do it much earlier, give it time. Um, that one real big tree, not the one that's leaning, but just past it, and that other real tall one, those are pin oaks. Um, so if they make mass next year, that'll obviously help me. But uh, wow, we got ducks in our duck hole. How cool is that? All right, I'm gonna get back to this, spread some more corn, um, and uh, share a few pictures as well of what I've got on my Twitter camp. So. That's about it. Walk around a little bit. If I see something cool, I'll let you know.
I hope you enjoyed uh, checking that out. I had a great time out there today. A little quick trip to the farm, but saw uh, quite a few ducks for that area, so it's pretty exciting. So as I looked over my game cam footage that I posted in there, um, I think the, I don't think it was two greenheads. I think it was a, a greenhead masuzi and, and two wood ducks because I saw that's exactly what I saw earlier this morning in the game camera. So correction there, I just got excited, thought I saw a bunch of green heads, um, but still very cool. And one last uh, uh, ask, if you will, to get your thoughts, leave me comments down below, please. I'm thinking about the idea came to me um, since we didn't really kill too many birds out of the bean hole today. I, I really hunted there because I had my blind and I wanted to hunt on my blind. My thought is, because I'd like to put corn in somewhere this year to see how it does, I may just turn that bean hole into a sanctuary, plant it with nothing but corn. Uh, it's the place that I can most reliably keep water off of um, and probably get maybe a quarter to a half an acre of corn in there and just not hunt it. Just leave it alone. Let the birds come into it. Let them use it all season and see if they start to use it and kind of build that uh, imprinting on the area. So leave me a comment, like I said. If you think that might do something, I'm thinking long term here, um, to get birds to consistently want to come to that spot. It's kind of like when you build a new impoundment, they say you really can't hunt it for three years. So maybe I need to do that. If I want birds to use this spot more consistently, plant them a bunch of corn in there and just leave them alone. I'll put a camera up to watch them, but uh, maybe, maybe that's what I'll do. So. Let me know what you think. Like I said, leave me a comment down there and let me know what you think about that idea if you think that'll help me for the long term. And uh, maybe I'll give that a try this year. Want to plant some corn, uh, but I haven't been real sure where to do it. Maybe this is the best way to do it. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate uh, your time. I hope you had a good time. I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, like I said, thanks for watching. I'm Bruce and this is Foul Play Outdoors.